In the annals of my family's history, the tale of our lineage commences amidst the rugged landscapes of Norway, a land steeped in the lore of ancient Vikings and tales of Norse valor. It is here, in a small coastal town nestled near the shores of Oslo's majestic fjords, that the foundations of our story find their roots. My father, Eric Sindal, traced his lineage back to generations of hardy Norsemen who had braved the harsh northern winters and sailed the treacherous seas in search of adventure and fortune. Born into the heart of this storied land, he was the son of Olaf Dahl, a respected tradesman whose humble shop served as a lifeline for the tight-knit community. Olaf's shop was more than just a place of commerce, it was a hub of activity where villagers gathered to barter goods, share stories, and seek solace in the familiarity of their neighbor's company. From the crack of dawn till the fading light of dusk, the shop bustled with life, its shelves stocked with provisions ranging from salted fish to handcrafted tools, each item a testament to Olaf's dedication to serving his community. But fate, with its capricious whims, had other plans in store for my father. At the tender age of 14, tragedy struck in the form of a devastating accident that would forever alter the trajectory of his life. While out exploring the dense forests that bordered the town, he fell victim to a mishap that left him with a severe injury to his arm. In the aftermath of the accident, the town's doctor, though well-intentioned, proved ill-equipped to handle the severity of my father's condition. With no other recourse available, the decision was made to amputate his arm, a harrowing ordeal that left him physically scarred but undeterred in spirit. Yet, despite the adversity he faced, my father refused to be defined by his disability. With unwavering determination and a resolute spirit, he embarked on a journey of adaptation and resilience, learning to navigate the world with newfound tenacity and ingenuity. From mastering the art of one-handed craftsmanship to devising innovative solutions to everyday challenges, he proved that the human spirit knows no bounds when met with determination and resolve. In a stroke of brilliance, my father crafted his most prized possession, a fork transformed into a multi-purpose tool, its tines sharpened to serve as a knife, its handle fashioned to provide a sturdy grip for his singular hand. With this humble utensil by his side, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery, determined to carve out his place in a world that often seemed stacked against him. But the confines of his small town proved too restrictive for my father's boundless spirit. With a yearning to explore the world beyond the familiar shores of Norway, he set his sights on distant horizons, fueled by a thirst for adventure and a desire to chart his own course amidst the vast expanse of the unknown. And so, bidding farewell to the comforts of home, my father set sail on a voyage that would take him far from the shores of his homeland. His travels led him across the azure waters of the North Sea to the bustling ports of Calais, France and thence to the cosmopolitan streets of Paris, where the vibrant tapestry of life unfolded before his eyes. It was amidst the cobblestone streets and quaint cafes of the City of Light that fate intervened, in the form of a chance encounter that would alter the course of his destiny. In Paris, my father crossed paths with a young woman named Marie, 
whose grace and beauty captivated his heart from the moment their eyes met. In a whirlwind romance that unfolded amidst the bustling boulevards and picturesque parks of the French capital, they found love amidst the chaos of life's tumultuous currents, their hearts entwined in a bond that would withstand the test of time. As the world entered a new era of maritime exploration, my father saw an opportunity to chart his course amidst the waves of history. With a keen eye for opportunity and a shrewd business acumen, he established a company that catered to the needs of the burgeoning shipping industry, providing essential supplies and provisions to vessels traversing the globe. From fuel to provisions, his company became a lifeline for ships plying the world's oceans, earning him a fortune and a reputation for reliability and integrity. The bustling port city of Cardiff beckoned, its strategic importance drawing my father and his burgeoning family to its shores. Amidst the bustling harbor and towering ships, they found a new home, where dreams took flight and aspirations soared amidst the salty sea breeze. But life's journey is often fraught with perilous twists and turns, and tragedy struck with the untimely passing of Marie, leaving my father adrift in a sea of sorrow and grief. Yet, fate, with its capricious whims, had other plans in store as destiny once again intervened in the form of a chance encounter that would change the course of his life forever. In the summer of 1911, amidst the rugged beauty of Norway's fjords, my father crossed paths with Sophie, a young Norwegian woman whose warmth and kindness illuminated his world like a beacon in the darkness. In a union blessed by fate, they forged a new path forward, welcoming four more children into their midst and building a life filled with love and laughter amidst the verdant hills of Wales. Yet, amidst the joy of new beginnings, darkness lurked on the horizon, casting a shadow over their idyllic existence. The sudden illness and tragic passing of my sister Astrid plunged our family into mourning, leaving a void that could never be filled. And then, as if struck by a cruel twist of fate, my father fell ill, his once vibrant spirit dimming with each passing day. Perhaps consumed by grief or simply resigned to his fate, he succumbed to his illness leaving behind a family shattered by loss. In the wake of his passing, my mother was left to shoulder the burden of raising five children alone, a daunting task for a young Norwegian woman in a foreign land. Yet, fueled by her husband's wishes and her unwavering love for her children, she forged ahead determined to honor his legacy and provide a bright future for us all. Our home in Wales, nestled in a quaint village west of Cardiff, became a sanctuary amidst the storm, a place where memories of our father's love and laughter lingered in every corner. Despite the trials and tribulations we faced, our bond as a family remained unbreakable a beacon of hope in a world fraught with darkness. As the years passed, our village became a tapestry of shared experiences and cherished moments, where the laughter of children and the song of birds filled the air. Yet, amidst the tranquility of rural life, the echoes of our father's legacy reverberated through the years a reminder of the indelible mark he left upon our hearts. And so, with each passing day, we carried on, honoring the memory of our father and cherishing the bonds that held us together as a family. 
Though he may have been taken from us too soon, his spirit lived on in the laughter of his children and the love that bound us eternally.